my name is Mustafa and welcome to another ukulele fingerstyle tutorial. Today's tutorial is special in that it works for both high G and low G tuning. Today we'll take a look at Pierre Atayno's Tour Dion from La Magdanella, written in 1529. Music from that period sounds great on the ukulele, so make sure to give it a shot. Alright, so Tour Dion starts with an open E string or open 2nd string and you're going to play that with your middle finger and right away there's a 2nd fret hammer on to the 3rd fret you're going to use your 1st finger to the 2nd finger because it is easier to hammer on using these two fingers than to using your 2nd and 3rd finger so we're going to play with our 1st going to the 2nd since the open is with our middle finger we're going to use our index finger to play the 2nd fret and hammer on to the 3rd now that we've used our index, we're going to alternate and use our middle to play the open A. Now we're going to go back to the 3rd fret, and we're going to pull off to the 2nd fret. Now here is something very important. When you play the 2nd fret and hammer on, leave your fingers on, because you're going to come back to them right away. And your goal here is to play that like one phrase, and not sound choppy every time you use your right hand finger. What I mean by that is you don't want to sound like note, 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 note. It needs to sound like one flowing phrase. Slower. The trick here isn't to play fast or slow, but to connect your fingers in legato and not have pauses between the strings. Now that we've played the open uh, E string, we're going to play with our index now, and we're going to play the 2nd fret, hammer on to the 3rd, leave it there, play the open A. Now we can let go to use our 1st finger on that 2nd fret. And now we're going to pull off to the open, which is easier than pulling off from a fret to a fret. But now we have to use our middle finger to play the 3rd fret, and then we're going to have to play the next 3rd fret. So that's two 3rd frets in a row and then open A, and while you're holding your 2nd finger on the 3rd fret, that's when you play the open A, and now you're going to let go and time it so that we overlap the open note with you shifting to the 2nd fret. So it sounds like a ringing sound. And instead of... you don't want to have that pause from the 3rd fret to the 2nd fret. Now here you're going to land on the 3rd fret, give it a little bit of vibrato, and you're going to play the 2nd fret and play the open. Do not pull off the 2nd fret to the open because the 2nd fret is on a weak beat and the open is on a strong beat. And when we do a pull off, usually the note that is pulled is weaker than the note that we play. So if you play the 2nd fret and pull off to the open, the open note, which is on a strong beat, will sound weaker than the offbeat 2nd fret. So you're going to play the 3rd fret, play the 2nd fret, and play the open. Change strings, 3rd fret, now you're going to repeat the first bar. A third fret, play, 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 cadence. And then you do a repeat. Now comes the second section, which is our first finger on the second fret on the first string. Now you're going to play the second fret with a different right hand finger. Pull off, back to the second fret, different right hand finger, hammer on and then different right hand finger, second fret. The reason I'm not giving you those fingers is because you could start the phrase with any finger that you want. The important thing here is that you alternate those fingers. Now we're going to play an ascending scale passage. Third fret with our index, second finger, open A, first finger on the second fret, 
third finger on the fourth fret. Notice how I'm leaving my first finger on the fretboard. And I'm gonna leave my third finger on the fretboard, use my pinky. I'm gonna play the fifth fret and pull off to the fourth fret, back to the second, open. And now my fingers can let go of the fretboard. Hold, hold, let go, let go. Now I can play the third fret. And now I can play the first fret, uh, third fret, pull off, then play, play, play. Technically, you can play all those third frets and pull off to the second frets, but if you do that, it will sound kind of cheesy. Doesn't sound right in my opinion. So what I decided to do is to articulate where I play the first three and two, pull off, then play, pl open. So that becomes... Notice that the 5th fret is your highest note in this phrase, so you do want to accent it or give it a vibrato. And a little bit of vibrato there. The second part of the 2nd phrase, 2nd fret, 3rd fret. So basically, the whole tourdillon is played on 2nd frets and 3rd frets, except for that 4th and 5th that comes in the second phrase. So your job really is to A, memorize the order of the notes, hammer on and pull off on rhythm. You don't want to play, right? This is a mistake most beginners do. You just have to make sure you're playing it on the proper rhythm. That's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Or if you go fast, one, two, three, one, two, three. Or one, two, three, one, two, three. You just have to make sure all those hammer-ons and pull-offs are even on the beat. And then you want to make sure you're alternating your right hand fingers. If you do everything right, then the byproduct of all of that is that you will develop a synchronization between your right hand and left hand where you play exactly when your left hand is moving because the tourdillon is quite fast. So you don't have that much time to prepare. Having said that, you absolutely can play this slowly and there is nobody pushing you to play it fast. It's a lot of fun to play, so give it a shot. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. The Tour Dion is part of La Magdanella. There is a bass and a recoupe, so make sure you go and check out where the Tour Dion fits in context. My name is Mustafa, and I'll see you in the next fingerstyle tutorial.